Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer for the month of May. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the month of May. Wow. Queen of Swords, Reverse. This is somebody that is angry. We've got some anger here. The bitterness, maybe resent, maybe vindictiveness. We could be dealing with it. There could be a, a vindictive individual in the mix. A change is needed. This could be angry, just angry too as well. But This is somebody who is not happy, put it that way. A change is on the horizon. But we got somebody who's doing a little bit too much. There's some chaos. Mm. Queen of Coins versus the Queen of Swords. Yikes. I'm not sure if this is one person or what. This one is bitter and resentful. This one is stable and solid. She's got somebody has a... has something really big to offer here. This is the uh, Ace of Pentacles, which is manifestation. So, Cancer, I'm not sure if this is you taking on this energy or this energy. This is... Uh, somebody has manifested something big. And it's like now you've got it, or you're going to get it, or you have it. Or this could be you with some sort of offer. big, Or you could be dealing with a person, or you could have some... You, could, you may have a choice between two people, Cancer. Just saying, you may have a choice between two options. One of them, one person is could be holding you back, okay? It's like you have an opportunity to leave somebody behind you and move towards stability. But you got to do it. So it's like somebody is needing to keep pedaling forward. Don't look back. Don't let anger and bitterness and resent hold you back from something stable and solid, from your own stability. You know, you need to find the discipline to, you know, you need to find the discipline and the patience and This is like, she grows stuff to grow something better. <laughs> the Hermit reversed. Is it somebody could be experiencing some sort of midlife crisis, sick of being alone. Um, I don't want to be alone. Um, you may be starting to see the light in a situation. Wow, somebody is carrying around a heavy burden. It's heavy, really heavy. It's like it's breaking you. Something is breaking you. And it's like you see, you're starting to see the light. Okay, look, he's looking at the light. And so, Cancer, I think that right now you may be, you're definitely overwhelmed. We have somebody here that is very overwhelmed. They could be dealing with a lot of responsibilities right now. There could be financial struggles. There could be some mental conflict. Um, you may be feeling like you need to retreat or somebody has retreated from you. And it's like you're just like trying to do it all, right? You're taking on an awful lot right now, okay? Somebody is, could be dealing with another water sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. But this is l unable to master emotions. So we, this, is, this could definitely be you, Cancer, who is redraw withdrawing, retreating, okay? Shutting down emotionally because... It could be you have this person. You could be dealing with this person who maybe that she's manifested. Somebody's manifested a new opportunity here. That is the Ace of Pentacles, which is, which is a manifestation, a new opportunity. So this person has a new opportunity, and this one, somebody's not happy about it. This is the death of an idea, letting something go, taking a break, and this is needing to take a break. You might need to let go of something. This is too heavy for you to carry. You are carrying something and something needs to be let go. You're trying to do too much, too fast, it's too much. 
could be causing you to be ill. This is this is needing to really seriously take it, take a break and let go of something. This is the death of an idea. You've got to let go of something. And it's like quickly. You see that? He's on there. It's, it's like quickly. You need to let go. This guy is like dreaming about moving on, you know. Taking action. It's like he's thinking about it. So we got somebody here that is really needing to get their ass in gear. Thinking about going back. Somebody is thinking about leaving or thinking about going back. Could be to this person. Could be to that person. There's definitely a choice here. There's a choice between two, two options. This is refusing to take a new approach. Carrying a whole lot. It's killing you. Somebody is like, it's like terrible. Now this is slowly moving forward with being practical. This is like a battle. As you look at their, they're like fighting. They really are. It's like, this is like, this is definitely a battle. There's a, there's a, I don't care what the card says. I don't care. I don't, I don't go by what the cards say. I go by, I'm a visionary intuitive. Okay. So this is telling me that somebody is, battling over all that is practical, all that is right, about doing the right thing. This one's pushing this one down. So I think that somebody may be pushing somebody else away or needing to push somebody else away. This is, this is make, push, this is, this is the approach. Make a move, do, push, push, Whatever doesn't serve you away, get rid of it. Push it away. Don't back down. Don't back down. Push away whatever it is that is causing your drama in your life. It's too big. It's too overwhelming to carry. Right now, somebody is seriously thinking about going back or thinking about leaving a situation. Because right now it's overwhelming. It's too much. There's too much going on. It's too heavy to carry. It's just, it's killing you. It's like, it's, it's, it's very, very overwhelming. Right now, a transition is needed. It's time to bring balance and harmony back. But you have to, you have to make the move. And somebody isn't mastering their emotions. It's like they're running from it. It's like they're hiding from the truth. It's like they're... holding on to something that doesn't serve them. You don't need to hold on to it. Drop it. So if somebody's holding on to it. It could be a grudge. This is an idea. Somebody could be holding a grudge and it's killing them. It's killing you to hold on to this grudge. It's hurting you. Interesting. So the future, this is your future position. This is the queen of, of coins. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Here, here, this is the past. So you guys may be dealing with an individual or you have been dealing with an individual or it's you that has been holding on to resentment and bitterness and hate. And it's caused a, almost like a midlife crisis. And now you have an opportunity in the future for something stable and solid, but you have to, you have to make a move, okay? You gotta take that step. And that taking that step means dropping something. So something needs to be completely dropped. And you need to master your emotions and follow your heart. So Cancer, this is a this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to open up to love. Ten of coins. Build a stable, solid, happy home with somebody. But this is after a completion. A completion comes first. And then you can move into something really solid, stable, long term. So this is an opportunity for love, an offer of love or, or a flirtatious gesture that really could lead to something solid and stable with this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person 
has something solid. I mean, really has their something big to offer. This person isn't empty-handed. This person has something. Money. This person has money. So Cancer, you may have an opportunity to be with somebody that can, you know, that has money. This is money. This is money. But this is refusing to take a new approach, holding on to the baggage, holding on to a grudge that needs to be let go of. This is a, this is a complex decision and there's consequences for your choice, right? So I feel as though you guys are, are probably confused. You probably know that you have to make a decision here and you, you're, you may be really thinking about what is the best option for you. You gotta be careful you don't choose things that just look good, okay? You want, to, you want to choose the option that is going to bring you long-term happiness, long-term stability. Look beyond the surface. There is no rush. I think there's no rush. There's no rush. Take your time. I feel like There could be a, a lack of confidence here. Somebody may be lacking confidence to open their heart. They may be fearful to communicate. You know, this could be an apology. I don't know. Maybe somebody doesn't fear, they don't feel like they can apologize. There's definitely somebody here that is holding a grudge. <laughs> Absolutely here. We have somebody that here that is immature, somebody that is childish, somebody that has been distracted by an illusion. Probably involved with somebody that's not well suited for them when they have somebody else that's better. There's an opportunity to open your heart in a new direction that could lead you someplace stable. Probably with this earth sign, could be anybody, but you know, there's there's a distraction here somebody is distracted by an opportunity that is going nowhere there's no growth in it it's not practical and you're needing to get rid of it for real let's be real whatever this is It's time to be happy again let go of that ego let go of that pride and decide you know I just want to be happy You know, you don't have anything to prove to this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with that is over here that's bitter and resentful. You don't have anything to prove to them. It's just, it's time to go. It's time to move on. It's time to take that step in a new direction. It's time for you to be happy. This is let go. Let go of the conflict. Turn away from the conflict. It's time for you to come out of hiding, perhaps. Maybe you've been hiding from your true feelings. This is, I mean, you think about cancer, they have, they're in that shell. That is retreat mode. So I think it's time for you to come out of retreat mode and be happy again. Take that step in a new direction. Oh my goodness gracious. There has been a lot of mental conflict here. I think that you have been delaying. You have been. There's been a huge delay here. Somebody's been in denial. Avoiding the truth. And avoiding this truth has caused more and more and more resentment. It has. Now, the Two of Swords is something being exposed, some, th some of the truth coming out. Change is on the horizon. A change is coming, and it's coming for the better. Something good is on its way. This is a destined change, of course. So somebody has a destined change, of course, that is right around the corner and it is going to bring you a reward so a reward is coming but you know the real fortune is about free will 
and destiny. So you have to, you have to, there's a wheel there, her, you have to take that step. You have to spin the wheel to get your reward. So this is a reward. She's got a reward. So you have an opportunity to come together with somebody that can really change your life for the better, but you have to make that move, Cancer. Somebody has been distracted by some sort of lie, some sort of deception, some sort of grudge perhaps trying to prove a point you know trying to prove something and all it's doing is hurting them it's time for you to take action stop thinking about it and do it whatever it is act right now go do it it's time Go after what you are passionate about. It's time for your new adventure. So I really feel like, Cancer, you are moving in a new direction towards something stable, solid, long term. This is a huge reward. After you take that step, you have to take the step. You have to face your fears. You have to come out of hiding. You need to let go of your bitterness. You need to stop trying to prove yourself and just make a wise decision to not get distracted by something that is false. Something better, this is good luck, this is a reward, is right around the corner. So you may be receiving an opportunity or an offer from somebody that is big. You could be receiving a big offer. I think it's this this could it could start out as a crush, it could start out as flirting and lead to <laughs> something big. So you may you may have some sort of conversation with somebody that turns into something really big. Long term, solid. But it's your choice. This is a choice. And this is a choice. It's your choice. Do you want to let bitterness and resent and hate and want trying to prove yourself? You know, because somebody rejected you, this is rejection as well. The hermit goes into hermit mode because they were rejected. Somebody was rejected and rejected and now they're trying to prove themselves. You know, and there's no need to prove yourself. Just move on and... What is meant to be will, will be. So anyway, I feel like there is definitely a better opportunity waiting for you to take that step. Just do it. That's what I have, Cancer, for May. I think it looks good. Uh, honestly, I do. Because this is your future right around the corner. This This over here. It goes like this, okay? So something stable, solid, long-term, a positive change is coming, but it's after. This is you taking action. This is you taking action. Remember we, when I saw that card and I said he's dreaming about, you know, taking action? <laughs> Seriously, get your ass in gear. Whatever it is that is holding you back, that is keeping you trapped, mm-mm. Stop thinking about it and just, just move forward. Just do it. Just go for it. Stop looking back. Anyway, that's what I got, Cancer, for May. I feel like May is a month of change. One chapter of your life is coming to an end, end and it's happening because it's meant to be. You are meant for something bigger and better. And you have something bigger and better right here. This is something, I mean, this is, this is something you can save, something you can keep, something you can bank on, something that will last. But it's all about you. This is refusing to transition, staying stuck. You need to pedal, make a choice, decide. Anyway, that's what I got. Take action. Good luck.